A global relief model, sometimes also denoted as global topography model or composite model, combines digital elevation model data over land with digital bathymetry model data over water-covered areas oceans, lakes, to describe Earth's relief. A relief model thus shows how Earth's surface would look like in the absence of water or ice masses. The relief is represented by a set of heights elevations or depths that refer to some height reference surface, often the mean sea level or the geoid. Global relief models are used for a variety of applications including geovisualization, geologic, geomorphologic and geophysical analyses, gravity field modeling as well as geostatistics. Measurement <inaudible> 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 Global relief models are always based on combinations of data sets from different remote sensing techniques. This is because there is no single remote sensing technique that would allow measurement of the relief both over dry and water-covered areas. Elevation data over land is often obtained from LIDAR or INSA measurements, while bathymetry is acquired based on sonar and ultimetry. Global relief models may also contain elevations of the bedrock sub-ice topography below the ice shields of Greenland and Antarctica. Ice sheet thickness, mostly measured through ice penetrating radar, is subtracted from the ice surface heights to reveal the bedrock. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Spatial resolution. While digital elevation models describe Earth's land topography often with 1 to 3 arc second resolution e.g. from the SRTM or ASTA missions the global bathymetry e.g. SRTM30 underscore plus is known to a much lesser spatial resolution in the kilometer range the same holds true for models of the bedrock of Antarctica and Greenland Therefore, global relief models are often constructed at one arc minute resolution corresponding to about 1.8 km postings. Some products such as the 30 and 15 arc second resolution SRTM30 underscore plus, SRTM15 underscore plus grids offer higher resolution to adequately represent sonar depth measurements where available. It should be noted that although grid cells are spaced at 15 or 30 arc seconds, when sonar measurements are unavailable, the resolution is much worse, approximately 20 to 12 kilometers depending on factors such as water depth. Topic: <laughs> Public data sets. Data sets produced and released to the public include Earth 2014, SRTM30 plus and ETOP01. Topic: <laughs> Earth 2014, 2015. The most recent global relief model is Earth 2014, developed at Curtin University, Western Australia, and TU Munich, Germany. Earth 2014 provides sets of one arc min resolution global grids of Earth's relief in different representations based on the 2013 releases of bedrock and ice sheet data over Antarctica bedmap 2 and Greenland Greenland bedrock topography the 2013 SRTM_3OPLUS bathymetry and 2008 SRTM V4.1 SRTM land topography Earth 2014 provides five different layers of height data, including Earth's surface lower interface of the atmosphere, topography and bathymetry of the oceans and major lakes, topography, bathymetry and bedrock, ice sheet thicknesses and rock equivalent topography. The Earth 2014 global grids are provided as heights relative to the mean sea level, and as planetary radii relative to the center of Earth, which show the shape of the Earth. Topic SRTM30 underscore plus twenty fourteen 
SRTM30 underscore plus is a combined bathymetry and topography model produced by Scripps Institution of Oceanography, California. The version 15 underscore plus comes at 0.25 arc min resolution, about 450 meters postings, while the 30 underscore plus version offers 0.5 arc min, 900 meters resolution. The bathymetric data in SRTM30 underscore plus stems from depth soundings sonar and from satellite altimetry. The bathymetric component of SRTM30 underscore plus gets regularly updated with new or improved data sets in order to continuously improve and refine the description of the sea floor geometry. Over land areas, SRTM30 data from the USGS is included. SRTM30 underscore plus provides background information for Google Earth and Google Maps. Topic ETOPO1 2009. The ETOPO11 ArcMin Global Relief Model, produced by the National Geophysical Data Center, Colorado, provides two layers of relief information. One layer represents the global relief including bedrock over Antarctica and Greenland, and another layer the global relief including ice surface heights. Both layers include bathymetry over the oceans and some of Earth's major lakes. ETOPO-1 land topography and ocean bathymetry relies on SRTM-30 topography and a multitude of bathymetric surveys that have been merged. Historic versions of ETOPO-1 air the ETOPO-2 and ETOPO-5 relief models 2 and 5 arc min resolution. The ETOPO-1 global relief model is based on the 2001 BEDMAP-1 model of bedrock over Antarctica, which is now superseded by the significantly improved BEDMAP-2 bedrock data. The ETOPO-1 contained information on ocean depths is superseded through several updates of the SRTM-30-plus bathymetry. <laughs> 